name is William Green. I'm from Norristown, Pennsylvania. Uh, I've been homeless for about five months now. Uh, sleep under the bridge. I got a box spring and blankets and a sleeping bag. Well, it's hard, but you got to do it. You have to struggle. Uh, one day you're up, and the next day you're down, and you got to adjust to it. It ain't easy, but you can make it work. See, I'm an addict, and that's what uh, my addiction allowed me to become homeless. I slept anywhere I could, doorsteps, benches in the park, anywhere I could. I never ate out of trash cans, but I have had people go in dumpsters and I have eaten out of dumpsters, but I never actually got into a trash can, but I've eaten out of trash cans, yeah. But I know what it's like to be homeless, to, to, to not have a place to go at night to not have any food in your stomach, you know, to have a, not have a warm place to go to, you know. I slept in abandoned cars, I slept in abandoned miniums, and I bounced, I used to bounce from shelter to shelter, not wanting, not wanting the responsibility of, um, of uh, having, a, having a place and paying bills. Oh yeah, many times I went hungry. You know, I remember my, my stomach hurting so bad that, you know, I used to beg people for, for change or something so I could get something to eat. Wrong, that's, that's not the word. <laughs> I'm from Hungary. I came here 29 years ago. I cleaned homes for a living. I worked very hard till I became ill four years ago. I lost my son, lost my home. Nobody wants to be your friend anymore. Everybody thinks you're crazy. I was in a transportation center and I had to go to the bathroom and I went to the tunnel to see if the bathroom was open in the train station. It was no bathrooms. I said, we sure we're living in America? Where are we supposed to do if, if you're homeless? You know, it kind of got me upset because we live in America and we don't even have bathrooms outside for homeless. So we have to poop in a tunnel. <laughs> you know, it kind of got me upset because <laughs> At least a man don't have to pull his pants down, but a woman do. <laughs> so, um, never mind. I can't. I, I have to go out. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I guess I've seen a lot of people that was homeless, and there's homeless people right now, and the list is so high as far as trying to get in a lot of different shelters. And matter of fact, it was a woman named Miss Betty. She was down the street when I got up this morning. I sat in my friend's house, who I called my big sister. I sat in her house. I got up at 5:30, and I left out the house around about 5:45. And um, it was an older woman down the street. I was like, Miss Betty, you was out all night. She was like, Yes. I thought she probably left from a friend's house. She said she was out all night, and she was just crying out there. And she said that she could not get in because it was overcrowded, which is a bad situation. One more thing that I want to say before the, this interview is done, there's a homeless man that died, froze to death right there in the courthouse, uh, John Goodwin, and I want to say, hope the Lord, you're in the Lord's hands, and he's taking care of you right now, and God bless you.